Uh, Oil India announced numbers uh, as well yesterday, post market hours. Uh, Mr. T. K. Anant Kumar is Director of Finance at Oil India uh, and he's uh, ready to take some questions. Uh, so, thanks very much uh, for your time. I just want to start with basics. Uh, profits have slumped and, uh, sh you know, slumped quite sharply. Uh, a lot of it is because of uh, the subsidy burden that you've had to, uh, you know, sort of uh, share. But uh, X that, X the subsidy, how, does, how do numbers uh, look? And, and please compare that against, uh, you know, uh, same court, same period last year, X the subsidy burden. Uh, actually, this year, 11-12, we have ended with good growth both in oil and gas. We have shown 7% growth in oil and 12% growth in gas. However, the subsidy burden also has been very high. In spite of that, we have recorded a profit of 19.7% compared to last year. We are continuing the production growth in the current year also and we are hopeful of achieving some growth in this year too. Uh, Mr. Kumar, in quarter four, crude production particularly was almost muted. In terms of internal targets for crude production, what have you set out? The current year, we have kept a production guidance of 3.95 million ton of crude oil and 2.92 billion cubic meter of gas, which is as compared to 3.84 of oil and 2.63 of gas. So we expect to achieve some growth this year also from the organic side. Right. Let's talk about the new subsidy sharing formula, which does not seem uh, to be favorable for all. Is this formula expected to remain constant even for FY13? Our Ministry of Petroleum is working towards achieving a transparent and predictable subsidy sharing mechanism. So, $56 per barrel, what has been agreed in 11-12, we are not very sure that same thing will continue in the next years. But continuously we have been pressing for transparent mechanism and we have been assured that some such system would be put in place. We are waiting for that. Hmm. Mr. Kumar, reports are suggesting that you are currently eyeing stake in Konoko's oil assets and also some assets in Mississippi. Could you highlight the same in terms of what size are these assets and what kind of funds have you earmarked for the same? As part of uh, our inorganic growth strategy, acquisition of assets abroad is one of our key strategy. For this, we have earmarked about six to 7,000 crores in the current year. We are evaluating some opportunities at the moment. Beyond this, I'm not in a position to divulge anything further. Uh, no issues with that, Mr. Kumar. Aside of that, I mean, with regards to oil India, are we looking at offloading some stake here in FY13? Are there any plans of doing so? And that's for the Department of Disinvestment under Ministry of Finance to take a call. As far as Oil India is concerned, it is not going to be a fresh issue of FPO. Uh, we are not going for FPO, so we will not be involved in the whole picture. The DOD will be involved in the offer for sale. Shale gas now has become a very important area. I mean, for, uh, you know, uh, most of the companies looking at global shale gas assets, you had Reliance Industries and you have ONGC looking out for the same. I mean, this is a big area for you as well, which you're focusing on. Any updates on the same? Acquisition of shale gas is also one of our strategy as part of unconventional oil and gas. At the moment, we are looking at some opportunities. Uh, we, it will take some time for us to come to finality. Hmm. Right. Mr. Kumar, uh, if you could just give us an overall picture of how FY13 is likely to be like. 
the larger business plans essentially would be around the exploration activity what is going on in 33 NLP blocks and many such blocks in overseas so we are actively pursuing in an accelerated manner the exploration activities in many of our blocks so if we are able to discover some as oil and gas in these blocks we would be able to have a overall long term growth we are quite positive on kg basin and mizoram basin where exploration activity is going on in full swing one last word, uh, uh, Mr. Kumar, with regards to the Numaliga refinery, which should become operational just a few days from now. But what was the impact, or rather, what is the impact, uh, you know, of the shutdown? Uh, there is not expected to be any adverse impact on account of the shutdown of Numaliga refinery. Because it's a planned shutdown, we are able to divert our crew to other three refineries. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.